horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Io Silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains, his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, his devotion to the cause of right against might. All of these made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading west to Pecos. There's going to be trouble. Hail Silver, away! The Lone Ranger and Tonto, camped in an arroyo, stood beside their horses, watchful and waiting. At the sound of approaching hoofbeats, reached their ears. If our horses remain quiet, we may not be seen. It's pretty dark. Uh, who come this way? I don't know. Who could have business in this part of the country? Get close now. Steady, Silver. Quiet, old boy. Yes, we tried. I'm going to take what everyone feels like. Give me instead of what we earn. And remember this, Bad. Any time we want warrants, he can turn us over to the law. Better take what he wants to give and keep still. I suppose you're right. But it still rises me. Especially when I saw what his share must be. Sooner or later, he'll not get what's coming to him. You hear him? I wonder who they are. Two fellows there. Yes, just two of them. Who is this man Irwin they mentioned? I don't know. Seems that Irwin can send those two to jail. They must be crooks. In which case, they should be in jail. Not right. If Irwin, whoever he is, isn't sending them there, he must be as crooked as they are. Him higher crook. For what? There's a lot of food for thought in what those two men said, Kimasabi. Tomorrow, when we go into town, we'll see if we can learn who Irwin is. Maybe our friends know him. If Missouri and Mustang Mag don't know him, nobody will. The following morning, old Missouri, the sheriff, rode out to Mustang Mag's ranch and met with his usual reception. Sheriff, if you are the sheriff, Missouri, you needn't come calling here with that official expression on your face. But I'm here on official business, man. Makes no difference to me. I Say, what's that you said? I'm here on official business. Doggone it all, I don't like it. What official business, you old coot? You wouldn't know official business if it stepped right up and bit you. Now, calm yourself, Mike. Hang it all, you just seem to want to make my job hard. Now, let me handle this my way, won't All you? All right, go ahead and make it fast. You got bread in the oven. All right, here I go. As sheriff of this year county, I'm serving you with this year paper in accordance with the law. Hmm. You're done now? Yep, I'm done. Now, is old Missouri your friend? Hold on, let's see what this paper is. Well, I'll tell you what it is. 
And I'll also tell you that you're a metal head of What's that? I says that you shouldn't be trusted to go around signing your name to people. What? Pay... Now, Meg, uh, don't bile up. Let me finish. You'll sit and keep still. Let me look at this. What's it for, anyhow? Well, it's a notice that if you don't pay John Irwin $2,000 by the first of the Hold month... Hold on. Why in Tunkett should I pay John Irwin any $2,000? Cause you bored. Says so right there. Got nothing of the sort. Now, Meg... You needn't try to hide your personal affairs from me. I you ain't know. hiding nothing. I never borrowed no $2,000 and I lambaste the man that says I did. Irwin says you did. And so's the mortgage he's got. And so's the signature you wrote on that mortgage. I seen it. Listen, you old goat. Where'd you get this paper? Jack Irwin. He come to the office and told me how you borrowed cash and how the mortgage was falling due. And he wanted the cash. Oh. Well, this calls for some thinking. You shouldn't have got yourself in so deep, man. Be still, let me think. There's times when women should seek out the judgment of men that they can trust. Two thousand dollars. Huh? I could have told you that it wasn't good sense to go into debts as deep as that. You ain't the cattle to carry. Well, you be still, Missouri. I ain't saying nothing. Besides, I always figured that me and you were sort of confiding in one another. And I was right hurt. It ain't when... so. That's all. Huh? There's something mighty odd about this, Missouri. I don't owe Irwin any money like that. Now, Meg. I said I don't. Now, do you want to argue it? Well, gosh, no, Meg. I only... Uh, well, that is... You what? Well, the name you sign says you do. You say you don't owe the cash, and that's a little confusing. Well, it needn't be. See here. How well do you know this Irwin critter? Well... Gosh, Meg, you know what he's like. He never shows much of himself around town. He, he always keeps uh, sort of... Uh, who's there? Hello, Miss Bang, Meg. Six loud. Am I hearing things, or is that our friend with a mask? How are you? Oh, my six alive. Hey, there. Great Scott, mister. It's good to see you. Hello, Missouri. And Tonto, too. <laughs> Hiya, Tonto. Oh. oh, step in. Step in and sit. Missouri, get that kettle of stew over the fire and heat it up. You bet I will. Ain't a man alive that's more welcome, mister. And you couldn't have come at a better time. I've been having a pack of trouble with my age. She's got herself into trouble. Two thousand dollars worth of... Oh, shush. I want no trouble at all till you come here bringing this paper. So what paper, Mag? Jack Owens. He claims that Who? I... Whose paper? Jack Irwin. Well, I came here to ask if you knew him. Sure I do, and I... Why? What do you know about Irwin? Nothing. I came here to find out what I could about him. Last night, Irwin's name was mentioned. Yeah? Who was talking about him? A couple of men whom I believe are crooks. It's Irwin himself that's a crook. The idea of him trying to claim that I owe him $2,000. Well, if you don't owe him nothing, then... I didn't say that. I do owe him something. Two hundred dollars, and I'm ready to pay it to him. Then you did borrow from him. Sure I did, same as lots of others have. But what I borrowed was two hundred dollars, not two thousand. Then by Juniper, I'm going to see him and get it straightened out. Now, wait a minute, Missouri. I've got to get moving and see Mr. Irwin. If he thinks he can make a fool out of me or try and hoodwink much dang mag while I'm around, he's got more thinking to do. I'll see you later. The Mustang Mag, perhaps you can give us some help. I'd sure like some help myself. I don't savvy this at all. Irwin seems to have gotten together with some crooks. I gathered from what I heard that he was putting over a deal that would mean a lot of money to him. I can't savvy it. Mr. Irwin always seemed like a real good sort to me. I never knowed him very well, but then I did say he was first rate. He's well thought of in town. Oh, yeah. I've got plenty of cash, and he's always been willing to lend a little here and there where he could tide folks over for a spell. Ain't like him to try a low down ornery trick like he's doing. I see. And where does he live? Oh, in town. I know, but tell oh, me. Oh, you can't miss his house. Not the biggest in the town. It's all painted up with white. It's the first place to see riding from here toward town. At just this side of the church. Very well. Uh, hey, you leaving too? I'll see you later. I want to speak to Jack Irwin. Come on, Tata. We're heading for town. Sure, uh, plenty of man, huh? Yeah, we'll ride slowly enough to let him get to Irwin's first. Come on, Silver. Showdown with me 
Mr. Jack Irwin, that's what I will. Ain't gonna do in Maggie while I'm around. Not on your chin type. Open up there, Irwin. It's the sheriff. Come back to see you. Hang it, just my luck. He ain't a hole. Irwin, this is Missouri. I come about that paper you give me. Hmm. Door ain't latched. Anyone to home here? Reckon he's gone somewheres, which same is mighty odd, being as he never leaves the house. I... Chumpin' Juniper, he's hurt. Irwin, Irwin, speak to me. It's Missouri. It's the sheriff. Oh. Dead. Deader in a doornail. What's going on here? Oh, my sakes, Mr. Brady. Look there on the floor. Miss Ora, what'd you do? Now, hold on, Brady. I don't know what's happened here. You done it. You killed John Irwin. I never done no such thing. Stand where you are, Miss Ora. Even if you are the sheriff, you can't get away with stabbing men dead. I didn't do it, Brady. Then why are you here? Who let you in? No one. He's killed Mr. Irwin. He's got a hang for it. You say no one let you in here? That's what I said. How'd I... you get in? Uh, well, the door was open. Oh, so you snuck in, huh? Snuck in and knifed Irwin. Now, look here, Brady. What are you doing here? What business you got coming to Irwin's house? Me? Well, I've been calling frequent. Me and Jesse, Irwin's cook, are keeping company. That's right. Mr. Brady was in the kitchen. Oh, he was, huh? And I suppose you didn't hear me yelling to get in to see Irwin? We didn't hear nothing. You go get the deputy, Jesse. I'll hold Missouri here. I will. Brady, I tell you, I don't know a dog. Drop that gun, about... Brady. What, what the? Drop it. Mask me. Hey, get me out of here, mister. Get me out of here. I got work to do. Oh, Mask, eh? So you're friends with the outlaws, eh, Missouri? Why, you local? Take gun, Brady. Oh, there. You come this way. Hunter got horse ready. Go on, Missouri. Take the hiding with your partners, and we'll know you're as guilty as sin. But I... Come on, Missouri. Yeah, go on, Missouri. Look, mister, if I take it on the run, the whole town will think I killed her when... They'll think so anyway, and hang you before there's a chance to find the real killer. Now get out of here. Get going while you have the chance. Oh, my sakes. Why does everything have to happen to me? We'll find you, Missouri. We'll start a posse out and find you if it takes till doomsday. On your horse, Missouri, and ride with Tonto. But you heard what I said. I'll be hunted down. So will you. Here, Tonto, take this hat and shirt. Give me those old clothes out of that saddlebag. You're taking off the mask. Don't worry, my face is disguised. Oh. Uh, but I'm what? not going with you. Take Silver along, Tonto. Meet me at last night's camp. Get going. You come. Uh, I reckon there ain't no choice. Get him up, Scout. <laughs> A short time later, the Lone Ranger re-entered the Irwin home and found Brady and Jesse still there. We'll get Missouri. Now, there ain't a doubt about who killed Irwin. And what's happening here? Who are you? As far as you're concerned, I'm a stranger. Now, what's happened to this man? He's murdered. Can't you see? Missouri done it. We caught him in the act. You saw the murder? Well, same as. We got here right after. We found the sheriff himself standing over the corpse with a knife in his hand. The sheriff? Where is he now? Well, he had a couple of pals that come and took him to hiding. Why would he murder this man? Jesse can tell you. Because Mr. Irwin held a mortgage on the ranch that Mustang Mag owns, and she's a friend of old Missouri, and Missouri knows she couldn't meet the mortgage. Good motive and everything, huh? I'm going after the deputies and form a posse. Oh, wait just a minute. What? Aren't you being too hasty? Well, there ain't no time to lose. But if Missouri didn't commit this murder, you'll chase him while the real killers escape. Well, it was Missouri, all right. It has to be. He's the killer, and as soon as he's found, he'll hang. Brady means what he says, stranger. Yes. I'm afraid he does. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, permit us to pause for just a few moments. Sorry, a doggone old fool. Why, it... You're under arrest. Yep. I heard that you was wanting me. Oh, you heard, eh? As if you didn't know it when you ran off in the first place. Well, what are you gents waiting for? You're taking me to jail, ain't you? That's what we are, and pronto with that. Then let's get oh, going. Oh, Missouri. Uh, Missouri? You don't mean to tell me that you really did kill Owen? No. Nope. Then why in tarnation have you come here to surrender without a fight? I'll get tried in court, Meg. 
They won't set out to lynch me without no trial. You'll get your trial all right enough. Now turn back and start. I'm ready, boys. It ain't never to be said that Missouri didn't uphold the law. I'll go peaceful. Hold on. Huh? You can't handle brain. I won't stand by and see you act loco. Where at is the Lone Ranger? Why didn't he keep you out of the hands of these half-brained critters that are so adly charged you with a murder? Now, Meg, you're just riling yourself over nothing. Come on, Missouri. Where's the Lone Ranger? Meg, it was the Lone Ranger that told me to hunt up Brady and the deputy and surrender myself to them. He done that? Yep. And he didn't do it figuring that I'd swing for a murder I didn't do. Then why? I ain't no more to say. Then move. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Get up. With Missouri in jail, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode toward a cave some distance from town. There can be no mistake about it, Tonto. We followed the trail carefully the first time we came this way. Mm-hmm. They're not mistake. The cave is just a little further beyond the trees. Ah. Uh, what about two crook? I saw them riding toward town a little while ago. You know, fellas? When I saw them in the daylight, I recognized them. One was Sid Newman, the other Bat Kester. Oh. The law wants both of them for a holdup in San Mateo County. Mm, that long way from here. Well, that's why they think they're fairly safe here. Oh. And there's the cave. Rain up. We'll dismount here. It's going to surprise a lot of people in town when we show them what we've learned. Keep big surprise. Keep your gun handy in case there are members of the gang that we don't know about. Hunt for ready. Now, step in. Ready? Now. It's all right. He's alone. And... Tonto, look. The town was in a turmoil with news of the murder and the capture of Missouri. Then two men appeared with a claim that caused a new sensation. There's a copy of the will, Sheriff. I reckon you'll agree the signature of Mr. Irwin is on the level. Mm -hmm. Seems to be. Take a look, Brady. You knew Irwin better than anyone else. Uh, She's writing all right. You'll find the original of the will somewhere around the late Mr. Irwin's house, according to what he said in the letter he sent us. Uh, How did you two heirs know he was dead? We was just passing through here and heard the news. Uh, That's the way of it. Your name is Newman, huh? Yes, me. And this is Mr. Kester. I figure it won't take long to settle things up, will it? Well, I It shouldn't. There ain't no doubt about Irwin being dead. You two figure on settling down here? Reckon we might as well. Irwin has a big place. It'll take a couple of men to run it. Well, we talked it over, you see, and figured we may as well keep it instead of selling it. Best ranch in this district. None better. Gosh, what luck for the two of you. How do we come to leave you all he owns? We uh, saved his life once. Where? In San... That is, a uh, long ways west of here. Well, someone's stopping outside. Huh? Hey, seems to be plenty of excitement out there. Well, I'll have a look. Stand back, all of you. Put down that gun. You're funny for the law. Hey, that's Brady. Hey, you. What is it, Brady? Throw your hands up and drop them guns. Come here, Sheriff. Get the drop on them. You don't need guns on us. We came here to surrender. Just keep your friends from opening fire. Come here, Smith. It's the Lone Ranger. Come on, Sheriff. Get him. I'll help him. You hear that, Sid? The Lone Ranger. Isn't that what they said? Yeah, I don't like it. Let's clear out. Yeah, we'd better. Hold on. Where are you two going? Where's it to you? Uh, Well, come on, Brady. Looks like you'll be busy. You'll stay right here for the time being. We will not. We will stay. Sit down there. You'll be interested in what we have to say. For a man that's under arrest, you've got a lot to say. These men don't You're the one that claims I'm under arrest, Brady. You'll change your story when you hear what I have to say. Now, those two men might be the ones you want in place of Missouri and Tato and me. Those two? He's local. Them's fighting words. He's calling us killers. He can't do that. Who are you two? Mr. Brady and the acting sheriff know who we are. That's all that counts. They're the ones that'll inherit the Irwin Ranch. Oh, they will, huh? Yeah. How do they know it so soon after Irwin's death? Irwin wrote him a letter and told him. He sent him a copy of his last will and testament. I see. Sure, that's it. Now we're leaving. You sit. I'll be hanged. Uncle, say, 
You said... All right, all right. You didn't stick a knife in me. You act like you had a plenty to say for yourself, mister. If I didn't have, I wouldn't have ridden here to see you, knowing that you had a posse out hunting me. Well? Missouri wouldn't have surrendered either if he hadn't felt certain that he'd be proved innocent of the murder of Jack Irwin. Start talking. Now, first of all, how do you know Jack Irwin was murdered? How? Oh, why, great guns, we saw him dead. How do you know it was Irwin you saw? Huh? How? What did... Why, gosh, how do I know it's Missouri that's in jail? I know, that's all. Because a dead man looked like Irwin. Isn't that the truth? Sure, and Jesse worked for him. He knew what he looked like. Now she tell could... me this, Brady. How are Jesse's eyes? Well, they suit me. <laughs> well, quiet. But her eyesight is not good, is it? Well, ain't what it might be. In other words, if another man were to be dressed in the clothes of Jack Irwin and his hair and mustache fixed the same way, there might be room for doubt. You mean to say that... How to bring the man in. Oh, uh, get him. What are you getting at, mister? Jack Irwin is not dead. What the trick? It's a trick. The trick to do is have our inheritance. You'll find out the sort of trick that's been played. Hello, Brady. Who in the Sam Hill are you? My name is John Irwin. That ain't so. You aren't John Irwin. Oh, yes, I am. Those two men cut off my beard and clipped my hair short. I can prove I've Irwin, though, by recalling every event and detail in my life. Hmm. He talks like Irwin used to. This here's a lot of trickery. We ain't gonna stand for this. Sit down and keep still. Meanwhile, hand over your guns. The minute you'll decide to use them. I tell you. Your guns. If you want my shooting man, take it this way. Oh, my head. My head. Pick up his gun, Brady. Gosh, I've heard of the Lone Ranger shooting, but never seen it before. Now, sit still, Bat Kester. What was that name? Bat Kester. If you look over the reward notices from San Mateo County, you'll find both Kester and Newman are wanted. And if you're interested in what these crooks planned, I'll tell you. I don't know what should be done. Maybe Missouri should be here. Tell us your story, Irwin. Then we'll see if Missouri gets out of jail. Well, these two crooks were working with another man who called himself Irwin. The three of them came to my house while I was making out a notice for Mustang Mag. They made me finish the notice, then captured me. Well, that's the notice Missouri took to her, ain't it? Yeah. Then Kester Newman took me to a cave and held me captive. I was shaved and my hair was cut. Well, why was that done? Well, I didn't know at first. I was left in the cave. Then Bat and Sid went away. They came back well pleased with themselves. They double-crossed their own leader, murdered him. And the sheriff, old Missouri, had arrived in time to take the blame. So that's how it was done. If you hadn't been so certain that Missouri was a killer, you'd have found the tracks that these two men made when they left the Irwin house. They went out a rear window. Go ahead, Irwin. The first plan had been for this imposter to take my place. These two thought of a better scheme, though. They made me make out a will, leaving everything to them. Then they killed their leader. He was going to kill me. But shaving you, why was that? The plan was to kill me and let me be found as a stranger. Pretty slick. I told you I was making out a notice, just a matter of form, for the sheriff to take the Mustang Mag. Yes? Well, knowing Mustang Mag as I do, I made the mortgage 2000 instead of 200 I reasoned that no matter what happened to me, Mustang Mag would make such a commotion about being overcharged that there would surely be an investigation. I hope that would bring the criminals to justice. Doggone good thinking. Mighty smart. If you want proof, you can follow the same tracks a Lone Ranger followed to the cave where I was held. I reckon the looks on the faces of those two crooks is all we need to go by. Hey there, you action show. Mustang Mag. Who left that door open? The Lone Ranger left it open when he went out. Don't matter who left it open, I'm here. And I make an out-and-out -out demands on you. Missouri is pining away in that calaboose, and he ain't guilty. Now, Dad, rot your skinny hide, you either let Missouri out pronto, or you give me the keys to do so. <laughs> give her the keys, deputy. <laughs> Here they are, Meg. Oh, by ginger. I sure expected to have to fight for them. Good for you, Meg. Huh? Who are you? I'm the man Missouri is supposed to have killed. Huh? Suffering sassafras. I gotta get Missouri out. Without him here, this office is plumb loco.
The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. 